here on Sanibel Island, which is known as the shelling capital of the world. Now, for those that don't know, shells are big money. We're going to show you some on eBay, and we're going to have a little bit of a challenge today. We're going to find out who can find the biggest shell, me or George. Let us know in the comments, hashtag George, if you think George will find the biggest shell. Remember, she's small, she's tiny, or Team Jeremy, hashtag, if you think it's going to be Jeremy. And remember, I'm big, I'm huge, and I've got the upper hand. I already found something cool. We're going to type seashell in the eBay search, hit the magnifying glass. And then from there, we're going to head over to the filter off to the right. And we want to look at sold because we want to know exactly the price of shells. Look, there's a shell right there, $6. But we don't want to know just a $6 shell. So we're going to hit sort also off to the right. And we're going to scroll to highest to lowest. We're going to figure out what shells have sold for the most. What should we be looking for? Here's a 13 inch clam shell sold for $1,193.77. Pretty incredible there. Look at that black sea fan. Wow. Thousand dollars. Almost $200 shipping. If we see any of those, we're going to have to hold on to those. Uh, I don't even know how to say that, but there's no doubt that's a lot of money right there. There's another sea fan. Mm hmm. We're definitely going to have to be looking for these because these ones are all over the island. And that's $582 right there. And there's more. There's more. There's another giant clam. That's pretty cool. Look at these. So beautiful. So we can even see here, here's seashells right here, $450. Best of the best. Uh, here's... I can't say all of these. I'm sure you can, but uh, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for anything that's potentially going to make some crazy money. Look at that trumpet seashell, uh, conch shell. These one, $375. Those are all over the island. Look at that. Holy cow, $379, $380, $365, and we could keep on going, couldn't we? $342. There's one side of a clamshell. $285. Just a fossilized pink coral. All right. This is just, this is crazy. Look at the money in shells. One shell. One, this is just, all right. I got to stop talking about it. We got to get out there and go find it. But look at these prices. This is crazy. The key to good shelling is get right on the edge where the water hits the bar and it rolls the good shells. Just like this, this bird right here, I forget what they're called, but he's fishing along. Look, I could almost reach out and pet him. I am less than a foot away from him. And oh, I think he's George hunting. Was he hunting for you? I hope not. What that did you, would hurt if you pecked him. Did you find something? I caught my coconut on the shore. Oh, Does this count? Only oh. for the right side of a bra. You have to pull that out. On the right side? That's, it only counts for bras. Yep, that's it. Nope, not a shell. That's cheating. <laughs> cheating and you know it. If she's going to be cheating like that, I need to recruit a new member on my team. Somebody who knows the lay of the land, knows where all the good stuff is. I got this down. Is this going to be the new George? And that was Perry the Pelican, but apparently he doesn't want to be on he my team. He doesn't want to be the new George. I'll, 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 I'll reach out with Team Hales, Pelican. Team Hales. He's like, nope. Okay, I guess I'm going solo. You can't pay me enough. Solo. <laughs> What'd you find? It looks like a an albino crab. Turn it over. <gasps> <laughs> I got you and all I'm the gonna viewers. use a crab a crab claw to turn okay. oh, it's a hermit crab. Alright, um Is he sleeping? No. He's no, moving. I he is moving? Yeah, he's doing cartwheels. Well, he's moving because yeah. you're moving him. Oh, there's another one. Um, I thought we were supposed to be finding shells. We are. We have a contest. And everybody said, hashtag Team Jeremy for a reason, Mrs. Squirrel. <laughs> Look, 
there's one you might want to for your biggest shell contest right there look at that one or this one that one might that could get you I there i like this one. Ooh, look at this one it's got purple oh, yeah, shades that's of purple yellow. in it that's the sweetest yellow shell I've I'm gonna ever seen. try and find another one like this. Okay. And when we build our Sandman. Not a snowman. Instead of a snowman, I'm gonna use it as a bra. For, it's gonna be a merman. For Christmas? Yeah. George. George, 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 George. George. Yes. We're still in survival mode. And I need food. You Blue know what that is? It's a blue crab, which is sweeter than your typical red crab. Dinner is served. I dare you to pick him up. I dare you. She's going after him with a shell. <laughs> Come on, pick him up. I'm not picking him up. Show me how brave you are. I want to keep my fingers. What if I pick him up? You can pick him up. I won't stop you. Ungar! Ungar! You want a shell? Ungar! No, he wants... You gotta get your knife and your swords. He wants a, he wants a sword fight. Hungar! 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 What's his name? Hermy. Hey, Hermy. Actually, I think he's hangry, just like you. <laughs> Definitely hangry. What, what does Hermy like to eat? Well, look in his mouth. Get a close up. I'll give you a nice back. What do you got going on in there? He's like, what up, girl? What well, up, girl? I got some food for you. I got some food. You ain't gonna be hungry. I got some sandwiches. <laughs> Come on, me, George. I got some sandwiches. A lobster roll. I got some sand mitches. Get it? I think this pelican is living its best life. We're about to go out on the fishing pier, and we heard shark. somebody just caught a shark. So what kind of sharks are there, George? These are the, the ones that are common in this area. A black tip shark. Oh, yep. A bonnet head shark. Yeah. A nurse shark. Uh-huh. And it looks like this is a protected species, the a lemon, lemon shark. shark. I would love to taste that. I would lick it. I would. You're not, you can't. Oh, yep. You can't, you can't because they're protected. No shark licking. We've got a sea urchin right here. You can see its mouth right there, and then the spikes. And if you get the spikes off the outer exoskeleton, whatever it's called, they're beautiful, so much color. Although, I don't think George is gonna let me use this one for the competition. It's too small. You see? It's about the size of my thumbnail. And I need a big one. George, 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 hurry before the water gets it. it? Hurry, get it. That's a that's a nice one. Ooh, oh, it's and not it's broken. Complete. There's it's no not chips broken. or anything. No, oh man, that is a nice one. Okay, so did you find this one for me or um, is this for you? <laughs> is it Christmas? Is it Christmas? It is Christmas. So what you're trying to say is you just that's a Christmas gift for me, because my gift to you is I brought you to Sanibel Island. That was your Christmas present. Yeah, because I wanted an experience slash memory. Might be just there hanging out helping it. I'm gonna see what we can see. Oh, Heron's Heron's going. Look at that. Alright. We're gonna see if he's hurt or not. If he's hurt, we'll try and help. Yeah, he's definitely gotta be hurt. I think he's hurt. 
Yeah, he's hurt. He's hurt. I'm just not sure. Oh, he's... Let's see if there's anything we can do to help. Okay, I want to see if there's fishing line. Okay, we're going to see if there's fishing... Okay, there's no fishing line. What you want to do is you want to find where that wave crashes right out from from the beach edge, and that's where the best shells are. You see that there? It crashes, it tumbles, it washes them. This whole entire island is filled with people from all over the world. Probably one out of 10 actually speak English. They're all here on Christmas vacation looking for shells. They're looking for the buried treasure, looking for the gold, just like we are. Is this like going through a box in a storage unit? Mm-hmm. Digging for treasure. Oh, here's a piece of quartz, like a sponge. You have three pelicans and... Fighting for the same fish. Yep. Four birds, one fish. Yes. You won't get it. Perfect. A pelican just got one. Watch this. George, while, while you were searching for those little shells, I made a little uh, a little something for the subscribers. What do you think? They're going to love it. You like it? Hope you guys appreciate it. Happy New Year, subscribers. 2020. New visions of perfection. New you like year, it? See what I did there? Phone. Who does? I don't even know what language she's speaking right now. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Egyptian. I think I have a winner. Look at the size of my foot compared to this thing. This could win it, except, yeah, that is, that's no shell. I'm not sure what that is. It's more like a gelatin. Uh, if you guys know, let us know in the comments. There's another one right here. It's pitted like Petoskey, but we have no idea what it is. What'd you find? I found my first starfish. Oh, pre grab it, grab it. Moving. Is it alive? Yeah. Wait, let me turn it over and you can see the turn of Okay, moving. let's see. Oh, it's already grabbed. It's eating some shell. See it moving? Wow. Wow. It feels funny. You want to hold it? You yeah. can feel it tickling my fingers. Look at that. Look at that. First starfish. You know what we should do with this? What? Make a bra. <laughs> starfish bra. Okay. For a salmon. He's not vegan. He's not vegan. Meditarian, just like me. She's still trying to win. I'm just taking in the nature. Yeah. What did you find? Oh. They don't call me the dragon slayer for nothing. I just found a dragon and I caught him. You wanna see what he looks like? Yeah. Okay. He's a little lizard. Oh, well, he's a little guy. He's a little lizard right there. I got him. You gotta be quick to get a lizard like this. And boom! Ow! He just jumped on you <laughs> and he's gone.
You see him? He just opened up his mouth. I did, yeah. It must be getting hangry. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> He's getting hangry. Where's SpongeBob? And Patrick. You see him opening his shell? I do. He chomped at me earlier. Did he bite you? No. Maybe he'll bite me. Did he bite me? Ow! <laughs> What you laughing at? I want to hear him like clap. He was cla clapping like the false teeth. You know the, the sound really? that the false teeth make. Yeah. That's a heaping pile of. Ocean blah. This is like seafood to the birds. Look at all this. Or treasure to the treasure hunter. Oh look, another starfish. You found another one? How'd oh, you no. see that in there? He looks all dried up. No, he's still there's still moisture down here. Did you just say moist? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna rescue you, buddy. No, I think he's dead. He's a goner. You think so? Yep. I think he's a bathroom decoration now. Sorry, Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. Patrick. Is he moving? Um, no, nope. he's a goner. Um, sorry, Patrick. Yeah, he did. You're just finding all kinds of alive ones, aren't you? Mm -hmm. They that open one. up their mouths. Look, see how it's slowly opening? Yeah. This one's open. Let me see. Watch how close. I don't know if those close, but these definitely close. Alright, let's see how fast he closes. And... Shutting down shop. This one's... Yep, that one. He's tight-lipped. That one's... Tighter than a pair of butt cheeks <laughs> with diarrhea. It's pretty bad. I'm 10 feet away now. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. I scared it off. Like an idiot, I scared it off. The dolphin is coming back. As you can see right there, I'm 20 feet from it. I'm gonna see how close I can get. Actually, it's swimming right to me. Look at this, it's swimming right to me. Look at this, I'm five feet from it. Oh, man. All right, I'm calling him to me. He's under the water, he's right there, five feet from me. Did you guys see that? Man, I hope I caught that. He's just five feet from me. By the way, there's sharks out here too. <laughs> and they do come this close. He's swimming right for me. Look, he's swimming right for me. Look at this. I'm gonna try to touch him. Oh my goodness, I could touch him. Oh, so close. He's right here. Since I can't find the big shells walking on the beach like George is, I figure I'm gonna dig for them. This whole beach has to be covering the buried treasure. It's gotta be in here somewhere. The biggest shell on Santa Bell Island. Ugh. Oh, more crap. Okay. What are these doing in here? 
You gotta be kidding me. There's actually tree branches down here. There's gotta be big ones. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm just trying to win. I'm trying to find you. Digging a, a hole to China? I'm trying to find the biggest shell. There's no way in Hales this is working. I quit. After a full day on the beach, show me what you got. I have loved, I was attracted to the ones with the purple in okay. them. Okay, mm-hmm. And then these are tricolor. Yeah. That one's brown and orange, yep. but then these are beautiful. My kids, my girls would call those the angel wings. I found the, uh, the, the clams together, I forget what they're called. So, remember though, it's supposed to be big as shell. Like oysters. I have, like oysters. now these ones are beautiful. That's a tiny one. And this is not a sand dollar. I know a lot of people are gonna think this is a sand dollar, but it's not. It's actually a sand quarter. I see what you did there. Dad jokes, da dum bump ching um, I'm thinking rematch, and I'm thinking instead of biggest shell, we need to do smallest shell. Smallest, okay. I think I'm pretty sold on buying a place here. 